Alright then, so making a poncho for your plushies. And yes, we're back here with Levi who's had now three tutorial videos for his very, very detailed clothing. Basically what you need to do is just cut out a long strip that fits to wrap around all of your plushie, arms and all. Just start with that really long strip and obviously I'm using this dark green fleece fabric for the scouts hoodie thing, poncho thing that they have when they wear it to battle and such. <laughs> So once you've cut out that strip, now what you need to do is shape it to your plushie's body. So basically you need to curve off the edges, it needs to be curved at an angle and at the top where you want it to go around his neck side you need to create three darts. So a dart is basically you cut a strip or a triangle um, just to then piece that together and you sew that dart together to make it angle in or to make it curve around the body. So that is very useful for making the poncho go outwards and spread out over the arms and sort of around the body. Okay, so something I find that's always helpful in plushie making is always checking how it looks. So off camera, I'm always putting on the plushie, seeing how it looks. I decided that I was happy with this shape. Now what I'm doing is I'm adding the hood to this poncho thing. My Levi plushie has a quite a big head, so it's going to need a hood that's big enough to go over his big head. So measure up the fabric that you've got to your poncho, lay out your poncho completely flat. The hood is going to be in three parts. So what you need to do is you need to measure up to uh, the middle of the poncho and you, you then need to cut a big sort of curved triangle shape. I don't have patterns for this hood. I sort of wing hoods because it depends on the size of the plushie's head and the hair they have and you know etc etc. If you look at um, so something that you have with a hood on it you can get the shape of the hood from that. That's what I always do like if you're making plushie clothes just smaller just look at something that you have. Um, I have an, an Ed Elric tiny plushie that I've got on my desk that has a little, pl uh, little plushie hood on it. I just looked at that and I edit it slightly made it bigger. So just just look at things for inspiration that you've got around that have hoods. Once you've got this piece, you can then use this piece as a template for the other side. So once you've got those two side pieces, um, not all hoods do this, but I wanted to have it because I wanted to make it a bit more round. So I've got this just this strip. It's literally just a rectangle strip that you just put that in between the two pieces that you've just got. As you can see, I've pinned it down everywhere so you can see where all the pieces are going to go. Um, and once you've done that, you need then need to cut out more pieces because you've got a plushie with a big head. So as you can see here I've cut out another triangly piece here so basically you need to cut it so that it matches the line that's already on show of the piece that's already pinned down. So the curve size are matching. Oh my gosh it's so hard to explain it, I really hope you can see it. I'm just pinning those pieces down to the side. Okay, here we are, I can pause, 
pause that for you. You can see I have a triangle on the right and the left that's attached to the main base of the poncho. I then have a strip going up the middle which then just makes it wider around the back to fit around his big head and then on the top of this sort of triangle piece I have two more semicircles. I don't know what shape that will be going along the curved outside of the triangles. A curved edge is the outside edge of the hood. So what you're going to want to do first, sew the strip piece that's in the middle to the sides of the triangles and then edges of the top pieces to that big triangle piece and then sew all of that onto the poncho will take the time to make her hood slower but back to the main focus of the video was the actual poncho so the poncho is the focus in this video not the hood it's just convenient that Levi has a hood on his poncho if you want to make that hood that little bit further forwards on your plush that little bit longer you can cut out a big strip that fits the whole of your hood and then just fold that over the end of your hood bra edge and sew that on the machine and I've also folded up the bottom of the poncho to make a nice hem that I've also sewed on the machine just makes it that bit neater ah uh, there we go so look the hood is all on nicely hopefully you can see where all the pieces go here i am just adding details the scalp badge again ironing that on And so finally, this is actually probably the most important part. You're going to need a way to attach the poncho onto your plush. So basically a button is your best friend for this. You've got to put the button on on the underneath piece of fabric that's going under and then cut a little slit in the fabric on top so that the button can slot through. Don't cut your slit too big because otherwise your button will fall through and then also the fabric will then split and create an even bigger hole and then in the end there's there's no point having a button because it's not really keeping the poncho on your plushie you then just need to sew it over and over and over just with a needle and thread just to make sure that it's in place do a few knots in there um, just to make sure that the button doesn't go falling off because that would be quite sad if he lost his poncho. So there we are, there is Levi. He's pretty much done now, so actually that's the final final piece for the Levi plush. Uh, so he will have his the making of video coming soon. I hope you found this video somewhat helpful. I promise I'll do another one on hoods. So if you're like, oh, Chloe, that, that video on hoods was really rubbish. Don't worry, I have a better one. It's mainly the focus on the poncho so if you need a poncho without a hood i'm trying to think of a character i think there's one i can think of i think that there's a girl from um that monster anime I, I haven't watched it you can catch up on my behind the scenes stuff on my instagram on my facebook page i'll see you guys in the next video